hey welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm gonna show us how to use the new vista function to append multiple filtered lists using multiple criteria so let's get started now i'm gonna ask you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so and turn on the bell icon to be notified when a new video comes up so let's make sense of our data set and see what we intend to achieve in this tutorial now based on our data set we have this transaction data for canada and for the united states now these two data sets has been officially stored as an excel table now, in the table design we have given the name of the country as the meaningful table name so for instance we have united states and then we have canada now when i come to the goal sheet this is exactly what we intend to achieve now we actually want to use the let function the vstack and the dynamic array filter function to filter using multiple criteria and then we append that is we stake vertically so this is what we intend to do you can actually see that we have the filtered result for canada and we have for the united states appended this has never been possible before using the worksheet functions of course you can actually do something like this in the power query if you are more technical in using the power query but this has never been possible before using the excel worksheet function but with the new vista function you can do that effortlessly now for instance we have two drop down in cell A2 and B2 respectively. So for instance, when I choose another year, let's say 2019, can you see that it automatically updates and we have the report for Canada and for the United States. Or let's say we choose another account manager and it will automatically work. Let's say I want to choose Nicholas Dean. Can you see we have for Canada and we have for the United States? Now let's see how to build this formula, a single cell formula. So I'm going to come to the solution sheet. Now don't forget our tables, our records are stored as an Excel table, and then we can use the Excel tables structured referencing syntax. So and that's what we're going to use in order to have an stress-free formula. So I'm going to come to the solution sheet. Now let's come to cell. A7. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to type in equal sign and then the let function, which I believe you've probably seen before. I have quite a number of videos on let functions. You can actually check on my channel. Now we have the let function. I'm going to press Alt equal sign. Okay, so that we can actually write a readable and more meaningful formula. Now for the name one, so I'm going to assign. You know, I'm going to call this one can year. Okay representing you know the year column from the canada table so comma and for the value you want to you know assign i'm going to call the name of the table which is canada open the square bracket i'm going to point to the year column press the tab key close the square bracket comma and for the name to i'm going to call this one can account manager okay then comma and for the value i'm going to call the name of the table which is canada open square bracket i'm going to point to the account managers column press the tab key close the square bracket comma and for the name three i'm going to use what's called the us year representing the us okay year representing the year column from the us table so i'm going to call the name of the table which is united states and then and i'm going to apply let me just move this okay then open the square bracket. I'm gonna to point to the year column, press the tab key, close the square bracket, comma. And for the name for I'm gonna call this one US account manager, then comma, and for the value I'm gonna assign, I'm gonna call the name of the table United States, open the square bracket, I'm gonna to point to the account managers column. Okay, let me see. Okay, account manager then i close the square bracket okay comma now we have actually assigned you know we have actually used names and assigned value to each of these data coming from the canada and the united states 
tables. Now, the last one is to you know assign name for the value coming from cell A2 and B2 respectively. So I'm gonna just you know call this one you know D representing you know drop down and then I'm gonna call this one you know J okay comma and for the value I want to assign I'm gonna click on cell A2 comma and for the other one which is D account manager comma and for the value i'm going to click on cell b2 and this is the names we are using and the values we have assigned now i'm going to put it in comma and then click on alt enter to move to the next line now for here i'm going to be just typing another name so i'm going to call this on my calculation now this is what's going to hold the this tag formula that we're going to write inside this let. Okay, so I'm going to call this on my calculation. Let's use calculation. Okay, so for my calculation, I'm going to use the this tag function, which vertically sticks arrays into one array. So press the tab key. Now for the array one, that is the filtered report or result that's going to be at the top. So I'm going to use the dynamic array filter function. So filter. Now for the array input arguments for the filter function, I'm going to call the name of the table, which is Canada. Okay, Canada, comma, and for the include. Now we have two criteria. The first criteria is year that equals to the selected value in cell A2 and account manager that is equal to the selected account managers from cell b2 so because we have two that is multiple criteria i'm going to open parentheses so for the first criteria i'm going to call the can year names that we have assigned to the canada's column so i'm going to say can year okay then is it equal to the selected d year coming from cell a2 so press the tab key close the fourth criteria and then we use the aesthetic sign which is the and logical operation then i open the second criteria in parentheses and then i'm going to call this on can account manager and you equal to the d account manager coming from cell b2 press the tab key close the second criteria and i close the first filter formula okay then we are back to the this tag so this is going to be the array one so comma Alt enter now for the array two. I'm going to deploy yet another filter function again. I want to call the name of this United States table, which is United States. Now that's going to be the array impute argument, comma, and for the include. So we have to criteria again open the criteria, I mean the parentheses for the first criteria. So that's going to be the US year. That we have assigned you know us year column so i'm going to say us year press the tab key are you equal to d year which is cell a2 you know press the tab key close the first criteria for the united states filter operation then we use the and logical operation which is the asterisk sign open the second you know criteria parenthesis and then we're going to throw in the u.s account manager u.s account manager are you equal to d account manager which is cell you know b2 in this case so i'm going to close the second criteria and then i close the filter and we are back to the v stack now this is going to be the first criteria as i've said and this is going to be the second criteria so the first one is going to be for canada and then the second is going to be for united states okay now what was going to happen i'm going to close the this tag we are true now i'm back to the left now i'm just going to put in a comma and alt enter so all i need to do is to just throw in this my card that undoes the filter and the, the this tag and the filter formula so i'm going to say my card calculation rather my calculation and then i close the let formula and all things being equal this should work so control enter that's amazing this is beautiful awesome so we can actually see that we have the account manager named tina john selected so these are all for um, tina john 
and we have the 2019 selected so this 2019 now the beauty is that we have the filtered you know report for canada at the top and we have the filtered report for the united states at the bottom this has never been so awesome like this before using the excel worksheet function and i love this i've been waiting for this for quite a long time and this shows that excel is actually you know coming up and we can actually do a whole lot using this all these new functions so this is going to be the first result as i've said and it's going to be the second result okay now when i choose let's say another account manager you know called natasha love can you see that it's automatically updated so we have only one record for natasha love for the year 2019 now let's change to from canada so i'm going to change so let's say 22nd 17 can you see that it's automatically updates that's beautiful so i hope you enjoy this video if you do you can like share comment and subscribe to this channel because there's a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers